In this scenario, we are looking at a Group 2 aircraft hangar. The hangar is protected with an electric release deluge foam system supplied by a bladder tank. In a scenario where a fire has started in the hangar and begins to grow, the electric detection device activates and sends a signal to the VFR 400 release control panel. The electric solenoid valve is powered open releasing water pressure within the priming chambers of the deluge valve and the concentrate control valve. The drop of prime pressure causes the priming line pressure switch to activate. Priming line pressure switches are required for factory mutual global approval. After the release of prime pressure, the deluge valve's clapper and the concentrate control valve's clapper open simultaneously. While the next steps happen in parallel, we're going to look at the water side of the system first. Once the deluge valve is open, water will fill the trim and activate the water flow alarm. Water will enter the system riser, passing through the ratio controller. Occurring at the same time on the concentrate supply, the foam concentrate is under pressure in the bladder tank. Priming pressure on the concentrate control valve drops and the concentrate control valve opens. Foam concentrate begins to flow towards the ratio controller. The foam concentrate will pass through the metered orifice and then mix with the water into a foam solution. Let's back up and show these steps all happening together as they would in a normal scenario. The foam solution travels to the foam discharge devices and the fire is extinguished.